Anyway, um, as she likes the muffins, and I think your family will love them too. This is a really easy, breezy recipe. You probably have most of the ingredients already in your um, pantry right now. The only thing you need to do is pick up a can of pumpkin. And, and this time of year, I always have a couple of cans on hand in my pantry uh, to make anything from pumpkin pancakes to pumpkin bread. I'm craving all things pumpkin. Uh, as soon as that whole pumpkin pie latte hits Starbucks, I am ready. Bring it on. Actually, it starts a little early for me. It starts like in, a little in the summer, but this time of year, bring it on. Okay, so um, whenever I'm doing muffins, I like to start with the dry ingredients in one bowl and the wet ingredients in another. Um, kind of like quick breads, uh, you just barely want to mix them together. So the recipe starts with just all-purpose flour, and you can get the exact amounts on our website, and two cups of flour, uh, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, a pinch of salt, whoops, whoops, got it all in there, and cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. Sometimes you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you don't have to run out and get it. You can just do a little bit of um, cinnamon on its own or add, do a little cinnamon and nutmeg or maybe a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. You can certainly just make your own. So instead of sifting, which not many people sift anymore, you actually can just whisk this together, but you do want to make sure and whisk it together and make sure that the baking soda and the baking powder and everything is all combined. Hey, yesterday on the show, we talked about our next big night out. Super excited about that, and it's coming up pretty quickly. So now is the time to start talking about it with your friends, your coworkers, maybe your special someone, or it's always fun to come alone because it's a great opportunity to meet people. So we're headed to Little Chicago, November 11th, five course meal, Paired with different wines, um, it's going to be fantastic. There's steak, there's uh, seafood, uh, great salad, uh, wonderful dessert. So you are not going to leave here hungry at all. Um, that seafood chatter we made on the show yesterday. So here's the number to call for reservations. It's right there on the screen. And if you're looking for the full meat, uh, menu and, and details, you can just go to our website, fox11online.com. Um, click on the Living tab, and you'll see that big red, white, and black box, and click on that, and you've got all the inf uh, information you need on the big night out, and we hope to see you there. It's, the last few have been so much fun, so don't miss out on this one. You know you've been wanting to come, so do it. Okay, so our dry ingredients are all together, and I whisk them together just to make sure that um, everything gets combined. You know, I hate that. I think it's happened to all of us where you take a, a bite of a muffin or a quick bread, and you get that just that bite of baking soda, which is no fun. So um, whisking, or if you take the time to sift it, that'll take care of that problem. All right, now for our wet ingredients, we have four eggs. And by the way, I was out at Cook's Corner yesterday doing some shopping for myself and for the kitchen here. And uh, they're getting ready for their big, got a big anniversary sale. Um, on Saturday. I'll be out there doing a book signing from 9 to 10.30, so hope to see you there. Right away when the doors open, they've got all sorts of fun stuff going on. So four eggs. My daughter Ireland has homecoming this weekend. Mm -hmm. I know. They don't call it homecoming at, at her school. They call it fall fest, but pretty much the same thing. She's got the dress. She's got the shoes, so we're in good shape. We're in good shape. So. Uh, should be a, 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 a no. She does not have a date. Oh, she's gonna kill me. She's going with a group. She's going with a group, and I'm all for that. I said you're gonna have more fun anyway. She doesn't have a date yet. That could change. There's a few more days. Okay, so we're adding our oil. This is just vegetable or canola oil. And we actually have one full can of solid packed pumpkin. You actually, uh, and it was one and a half cups of canola oil, by the way, but the full recipe you can get on our website. You don't want to get the pumpkin pie filling. You actually just want to get the solid packed pumpkin. And that's going to keep these really nice and moist. And they're really pumpkin-y. This week on the Better Half Show, we're going to make a whole bunch of different pumpkin recipes. I think you're going to enjoy them. Uh, we've got a layered no-bake pumpkin cheesecake parfait, and we're actually making a, a pumpkin 
pasta dish with gorgonzola cheese, so make sure and watch the better half on Friday. I'll be cooking up some of my favorite pumpkin recipes with the ladies. Okay, so at this point I'm actually going to use a mixer to combine this all together. Thank you, Ann. So again, in the wet, we had four eggs, one can of pumpkin, one and a half cups of can uh, uh, canola oil or vegetable oil. In the dry ingredients, we had two cups of sugar, three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon or pumpkin pie uh, spice, and a teaspoon of salt. This makes a really big batch, so this is perfect. If you need to bring muffins to the kids' classroom or to school uh, or to work, this is going to make a good 24 or even more muffins. So this is the nice part about this recipe. It makes a whole bunch of them. And if you're going to the trouble of making them, why not make a big batch? Um, and they'll keep, because they've got the pumpkin and, and that oil in there, they're going to keep moist for a good few days. So Ireland and I love baking something like this on a Sunday. And then, you know, she's got muffins for the week, all week long. Send them to Bob's office. At this point, we're combining the wet and the dry. And I use the mixer to get the wet going, although you could have just whisked it by hand. But at this point, I like to more fold it together and make it more of like a like I say, you don't want to overmix it. That's the key. If you overmix it, you get rock hard muffins, and that is not a good thing. Getting excited for the Packers game this weekend. Home game, and uh, we actually are making a really fun snack mix that would be perfect for the game, a fall snack mix. Kind of like on the order of a Chex Mix, but a little bit different coming up in a little bit. Okay, so now this is all combined. It's still a little bit lumpy. This is not a cake, so it doesn't have to be, you know, really, really smooth. And we're adding one bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. If you don't like the semi-sweet, you could also do milk chocolate. Or white chocolate would be good in here. We lined our muffin tin with some pretty liners. There you go, Miss Ann. And we love to use a scoop. These scoops are so great for getting the pumpkin batter, muffin batter, cupcake batter, whatever, right directly in to our lined, paper lined muffin tins. And that way they don't drip all over and you get the right amount. Oven temperature for this, 325 to 350, depending on your oven. And, and these bake for about 15 to 18 minutes. Correct? Just keep an eye on them. Uh, the thing with muffins and cupcakes, you don't want to overbake them. Told you, we've already just got 12 here and we've got a lot more batter to use up. So this is going to make 24 plus muffins and they're the prettiest color. These are great. Um, a lot of people moving this time of year, moving into a new house or, you know, moving in from out of town. Uh, it's so nice to drop off treats to new neighbors. So this would be a perfect thing to bring. So here are the muffins. We just pulled them out of the oven and let them cool a little bit. And they puff up beautifully. We've got them right here on a plate. These are perfect for fall. Um, you could do mini muffins. You could do monster muffins. It's all going to work great with this recipe. But um, if you're making muffins this fall, you definitely need to make this recipe. And we'll put the recipe on our website. Coming up, some more fall fun ideas. We're making a roasted pumpkin salad, a great fall snack mix, bread pudding that's in the oven right now, and we've got a Halloween costume fashion show. See how you can 
uh, get a great costume for Halloween on the cheap. We've got some fun ideas coming up, so stay with us. We'll be back.